The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Next, we'll follow the outlook from the chairman and the CEO of the board of directors of Georgia Capital, Irakli Gilauri. Irakli Gilauri was appointed CEO and chairman on 24 February 2018. He also serves as a member of the nomination and investment committees. Irakli Gilauri formerly served as the CEO of BGO Group from 2011 to May 2018. He joined as CFO of Bank of Georgia in 2004 and was appointed as chairman of the bank in September 2015, having previously served as CEO of the bank since May 2006. Prior, he was an EBRD, European Bank for Construction and Development banker. Mr. Gilauri has up to 20 years of experience in banking, investment and finance. He served as director of Georgia Healthcare Group PLC, now Georgia Healthcare Group Limited, from August 2015. Gilauri also sits on the supervisory board of GSC Georgia Capital. Gilauri received his undergraduate degree in business studies, economics and finance from the University of Limerick, Ireland in 1998. He was uh, later awarded the Chimnik Scholarship granted by the British Council to study at the Cass Business School of City University, London, where he obtained his MSc's in banking and international uh, finance. Here's his perspective on investments, GCAP goals and, and more. Okay, it's been a while. I don't know, maybe four or five years already uh, since our last interview. Uh, the world has changed. We have changed. You're getting younger, I'm getting older, so that's it. Uh, tell me about uh, Georgia Capital. Uh, so uh, I really would like to know uh, what kind of entity, what kind of transformation has happened with uh, Georgia Capital because uh, you're still in daily discussions and contacts with international and local investors. So share with us some updates about yeah, Georgia I think Capital. that. Uh, it's a fascinating story of Georgia Capital in the last five years when we are trying to form the professional investor, institutional investor, which is, uh, which in this country is, is pretty unusual. It's a, you know, it's a young country and we don't have a, many professional or, or institutional investors. So uh, we've been creating this um, uh, as, as local Georgia focused uh, in, investor and it's been a, uh, very interesting how this process has been involved and we were we went through different passes how we would should go about it i think in the end we had uh, we have arrived in a very simple uh, formula that uh, you know we need to help our portfolio companies uh, with the strategy we need to form the right management teams and we need to uh, sign off on the investments on capital allocations we are a professional capital allocator you know, investments and divestments. Where what should be? Where should we invest? What we should divest? And that's uh, that's all about the Georgia Capital and simple approach. We have we are 25 people in this office, and that's uh, and these 25 people decide only on these three very limited things, mm -hmm. and rest we let our really excellent management team to operate, and deliver results. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a kind of very simple truth that. Especially, it's very difficult when you're, when my background is operations. I've been operating the companies uh, all my life, and it's difficult to discontinue it. And uh, basically, we have managed, or I have managed, to force <laughs> myself not to operate and uh, and look at this uh, uh, our portfolio companies as an investor. He's an investor, and not yeah. as an operator. Uh, we still have uh, some existing challenges, and uh, I will not. Uh, open or create anything new that uh, we all uh, had a big hope just one year ago that uh, pandemic was uh, by its end but then uh, this disaster has happened 24th of February and uh, the world has changed again. Uh, in what direction that's one of my questions because you are still in relations with, uh, with international investors uh, and at the same time, you are investor as well, mm. because that's the core, core yeah. form of the yeah. GCAPs. That's how you do and perform. Uh, tell me about uh, your, I mean, uh, Georgia Capital's uh, achievements and uh, also challenges for 2022. 
Yeah, I mean, basically, the uh, when we thought that uh, pandemic was over and uh, you know we were in, on the, on the route of uh, changing our habits and uh, uh, doing business differently, uh, this this war has started, which uh, which obviously this uh, horrible war started, and um, and we obviously got worried, you know, how we we gonna go about it. Uh, fortunately, the, 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 the Georgia showed stability. And for, fortunately, in Georgia, economic progress has, uh, has been achieved. Uh, we have a double digit, 10% plus GDP growth this year. This year, we had a, in 2021, we had another 10% growth. So, two, two consecutive years, years of correct. double digit GDP growth uh, is, uh, is unprecedented for Georgian recent his history. So that's been a, a, a big, big uh, achievement in that sense. The, another, well, another big achievement is obviously that um, uh, the current account deficit has shrunk to close to zero, which is another big uh, structural change of Georgian economy. And that's uh, before we had that this big current account deficit, which was balanced by FDI. Now the FDI is a bonus on top of this, uh, you know, current account. In, in zero. Uh, that's why you have a Larry appreciating, and uh, that's why you have a investor confidence is even greater. And this investor confidence brings more investments. Recently, we've seen a strategic investors coming to Georgia. Big names are coming to Georgia, and uh, and it uh, will continue to come because they see a gross opportunity. As the world is is in fears of the recession, in the fears of the inflation, stagflation, etc. You know, Georgia is a safe haven. Uh, of finding the the growth yes. opportunities, mm -hmm. so I think that, that 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 trend will continue, and this policy of uh, uh, of, of basically investing in infrastructure from government side uh, to do this middle corridor where where where, mm -hmm. where more throughput through our railways will happen, uh, we, where we have a, a black sea cable going mm -hmm. to EU to Romania basically, uh, and the government signing the PPAs with the um, investors to to build more uh, renewable energy in this country is extremely important. So basically, even though we had a uh, you know, very strong growth, we have a investor confidence, but we also have a plans. I mean, the government has a plans where, to, where the investment should go. And, uh, and uh, that obviously brings a big confidence uh, to investors. You also mean, in, uh, in regard to the plans, the Black Sea Cable project, I mean, uh, which was preliminary agreed and suggested between few countries where after uh, after we will take some steps to have more generation and power plants in this country we should definitely sell somewhere and Europe is a place where it's extremely needed right today obviously obviously and uh, and, and basically the the war uh, created uh, uh, warhead sanctions you know yeah. Sanctional effect is there, and obviously the energy deficit yeah. going to continue uh, uh, to happen. It's, 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 it's basically it's a new world, it's a new settings that uh, uh, the energy will be in deficit, and I think that Georgia stepping up investment in renewable energy, Georgia stepping up the connecting uh, uh, high voltage line to the Europe, uh, that's a right, uh, absolute right policy. Also, logistically, Central Asia to connect with Europe, there is a limited ways of connecting now. Therefore, investment in enlarging the, mm -hmm. this corridor, the logistic corridor, is an extremely uh, important project for the country and also brings a lot of investor confidence. Existing trends and actual mac 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 macroeconomic figures, uh, statistics what we have, and also the plans, what uh, Georgia is announcing, is it the key point why, how uh, Georgia Capital and other Georgian companies are performing in, on London Stock Exchange as well? Uh, they're performing quite well and uh, I mean all the profile and outlook what you have just described, that's how uh, where we, we should find the reasons how why Georgia Capital uh, shares are doing so well. Am I right? Absolutely. I mean the, the, the Georgia offers the growth. Georgia Capital offers the growth. I mean Georgia Capital is a proxy of the Georgian economy, 
you know, the, it's a, a Georgia Capital portfolio companies and economy are intertwined. One cannot do well without the other, and, and vice versa, I guess, right? So we are, we are pretty much dependent, and, uh, and that uh, growth of the economic growth brings the growth to in our companies, and the investors obviously are in search of the growth. Uh, especially you know, in this environment what we discussed, fears of recession uh, in US, in Europe, fears of inflation, fear even greater fears of st stagflation. Yeah. You know, all of these things obviously uh, uh, brings investors to search for the growth opportunities. And, and Georgia offers great growth opportunity. Not only offers the, the track record of the growth opportunity, but offer, also offers the future projects which will bring the growth and solidify it, and, uh, and, uh, and current account is another health of the measurement of the, uh, of, of the economy. The economy and, itself, yeah. And obviously the exchange rate and LARI, the way it behaves, it's a first measurement, first sign you know, of, of the healthiness of Georgian economy. So my last, uh, but not the least, question is about the, your future plans for 2023. What I've searched through your portfolio, you still go on uh, investing uh, I mean, Georgia Capital, uh, education. Yes. Definitely, it's going to be energy sector. Yes. And uh, healthcare and healthcare yes. management systems. Yes. Uh, mainly the, the outpatient clinics, that's where we, were, we think that the cross opportunity is. Uh, renewable energy, energy is, we talked about, it's, yeah. a, it's some, something, you know, it's a, it's a no brainer to invest in, in the renewable energy, especially in the renewable energy. And the schools, uh, it's, uh, it's our, one of our favorite areas of investment because we are not only um, uh, helping the business to grow and develop, but we are helping the, uh, the kids to get a good education. And this is kind of a uh, yes. it's, it's, it's double fulfilling. Absolutely, yes. Good luck with it. Good luck with your project. And yeah. hope we will not have the same big pause like to see what, what is happening with Georgia Capital for 2028. <laughs> and with you definitely before that. Good luck. Thanks, Georgi. Thank you. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.